What makes relationships last? Our relationship has had its ups and downs, but what we've found is good communication holds everything together. We decided to dedicate time every week to not only strengthen our relationship, but stimulate personal growth. Strong relationships are built on strong communication. Welcome, Welcome to, to Date, Date Night, Night Conversations. Conversations. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Date Night Conversations. I'm Chantel. And I'm Greg. And in this video, Greg and I are going to ask each other three questions we have never, ever asked each other before. We'll keep saying uh, communication is key in a relationship, and we know, even after nine years together, that there's still more to know about each other, and questions like this just help us continue to learn about each other mm -hmm. and ultimately continue to grow. Right. So not only do you guys get to learn more about us, we get to learn more about you. So feel free to answer some of these questions by dropping a comment down below. All right, you ready to get into it? Absolutely. All right guys, let's just get right into it. All right guys, first question. What's something you disagree with about the way you were raised? Ooh. That's an interesting question. Why are you trying to put me on blast? What's something you disagree with about the way you were raised? <laughs> okay, something I disagree with is the way my mom used to compare me and my brother. Because I was such a troubled child, she would often wonder, why can't you just be like your brother? Why can't you just like show up and fish on that? And then I used to kind of just resent that. Was that a lot? It was enough that it stuck, right? It's enough that it stuck, but it's just the, like, it's the only real disagreement that I really has. Like, mom, you're always comparing us. So she's super careful of how I do it to these kids because sometimes Oh, true. you'll catch okay. me off and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this one does this, this one does this. And we always just compare. It's like, but you have to remember each kid's an individual. So I kind of struggle with that sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's something I disagree with. I think we should just respect everyone as an individual. How about you? This one's sort of random. My dad was big in the church mm -hmm. growing up. And for the majority of my childhood, I had no Sundays because Sunday was spent at home with the family. So I started getting to an age where I want to go out with my friends instead of just hanging out, I had to stay home. Like we didn't do anything special. It was just Sunday, you go to church, come home, you spend Sunday with the family. Mm -hmm. And remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It was like that day. And that was practiced. And I remember the first Sunday I finally got to go out where he gave in because I'd been bugging forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was awesome. That's that, like, because yeah, that was up to like I was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm 12, I think. Okay, so yeah, I disagree with that. But you just learned that you don't want to teach your kids that. Like, yeah, so I know? just. It kind of helps. I had like different <laughs> beliefs, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah. Sort of agreeing with what you're saying, it's you kind of learn if there's something you disagree with, that experience helps you raise your children differently, ultimately, right? Mm -hmm. and, all right guys, so I'll read the question one more time. What's something you disagree with about the way you were raised? And be honest now, be honest, it's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure everybody has something. Yeah, nobody's perfect. Way, yeah, yeah. Changes the way they raise their kids. I think that's a big part of how we grow. Absolutely. Okay, moving on to the next question. Question number two. If our relationship ended tomorrow, what three things would you miss the most? Ooh, guys, I have never, ever, ever thought of this. So this is like totally real. Here you guys go. You gotta keep that real. Our relationship ended tomorrow. What three things would you miss the most? Oh man. There's so much. What three things would I miss the most? Okay. I would miss. Oh, you're thinking of things? Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> you, the little ways you're naggy in a funny way. 
like it's important that you do that as much as it makes me like <sighs> this is something like we're walking to the car and I'm about to get in the car just say get in the car Greg <laughs> and she'll just do that kind of stuff Right yeah, now. and it's just fun. And sometimes you, you say it at the worst times. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just to make it seem like I'm doing what you asked me to do every time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. She'll, she'll <laughs> see me about to do something and then tell me to do it. <laughs> it's amazing. And he has to do it sometimes. <laughs> Most times. Like, what do I. Not like, Come on, I, I don't believe shoes on. Yeah, I like, like exactly. put my shoes on. <laughs> and I walk past you know like I won. Like, yeah. Good, good job. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so annoying. Okay, in a good way. Like I, I totally yeah, just... it's it's all it's total fun. Yeah. Um, okay, so I definitely missed that. Um, I would miss the begging me to come to bed. If <laughs> ever she ends up going to bed before me, like I'm just trying to finish something up. She'll just keep going and going. It's like an alarm that goes off every five minutes. You should snooze. Like, babe, we'll be up in a minute. And you'll be like, five minutes later, she's right back. Come on, let's go. Come brush your teeth. <laughs> but that's important because if you didn't do that, yeah, I would miss that so much. Like, if that didn't happen, I would think something was wrong. Like, you okay? <laughs> but that's I'm one of those things know. you do that sort of keeps me like. I get stuck in something like, okay, take a break, you can do that tomorrow, come on. But you don't tell me that. You do it the way you do. <laughs> come on, tuck me in. Oh my gosh. That <laughs> okay. is so cute. That's two things. What's the third thing? It, it would just be like, you. <laughs> like, am I allowed to say that? Like, yes. is, that is that like an that obvious? Yeah, well, it's an obvious, and obviously, yeah, like. <laughs> like when I say which three things, like just having you close, like it's really important just to be able to get a hug and just have that. There's so many aspects. Oh yeah. I need that. I need to talk to you like all the time. Yeah, I feel the exact same way. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It'd be really weird. It'd be really weird and strange. Because yeah, we're constantly communicating all day, every day, in some way, like, yeah. when we're at work, it's just, yeah. Okay, I think there's the solid three there. Your turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My Those friend, are good, right? They, they were amazing, babe. Okay, I would totally miss, number one, your warmth in bed. Like... You got your, your comfy blanket now, you don't need me. No, but I But you know didn't. what, I know there's something there, because it's just me lying beside you, and that there's a, there's a comfort in that. Yeah. Well. Like, it's a, feel of the body there that's important yeah it is um oh my gosh i would totally like miss your voice like hearing you because it's just so like calm chill it's just so mellow it's just so you and then i totally would miss your face oh my gosh there are pictures oh they don't do justice <laughs> Like, they're good pictures, but you in person and all of you again, like just your whole being is such a blessing to have. And ending that for any reason, that would like, I would totally miss that. Like, it's important to me. It's a random question. It's a random, but a real one. But I like that one. It makes you think, like those, those little things that you really appreciate. appreciate. Okay. Good All right, question. guys. Yeah. Your turn. If you'd like. <laughs> Let's read the yeah, question again. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Yeah. Like, if our relationship ended tomorrow, what three things would you miss the most? Yeah, there's. I know there's like subtle things you really appreciate about your partner. I'd be curious to know what some of those things are. Yeah. All right. Keeping it real. All right. Moving on to the last question. Yeah, last question. All right. Guys, I'm sad. I'm really sad. All right. All right, last question. What have you learned about love? What have you learned about love? Go. That is never fully understood. That's a good 
character response. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure that what we think it is is what it actually is. I think I think there's there's different meanings to it, and I think it, it's something that I think we take the word for granted. We just we toss it around. Okay. When we should, like I don't know. That's I shouldn't say we shouldn't, but like we, I don't think we understand the true, true meaning of love. We'll never understand it. Huh. That's a weird question to answer. It is. I think like, I, like what have you learned about love? I mm -hmm. think it's, what it's you... completely different for everybody. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, when you're outside of it, you have no idea. It's this weird connection. Mm -hmm. And only the people experiencing it can actually describe it as that. It's totally up to them. And like someone's like, that's not love. Yeah. <laughs> like you Yeah. Yeah, I want like what have I learned about love? That I think it's just It's just ongoing, you'll never Yeah. Because you, the totally things will happen. Maybe a question can't. too. It's like, it's a funny thing. It's... When you think you know what love is, something will happen and be like, "Oh, that's what love is." It's like even stronger than before. There's something that was even more than before, and it just keeps growing and evolving. Mm -hmm. So that's a really deep question. Yeah, and so you, you can almost you, you reach this high, and to you, that's what love is. It's a certain. High, it like is, and people do level. connect exactly. People do connect that high to emotion, and yeah. they get tied up sometimes where they shouldn't. Like it's yeah, it's so true. They think the feeling <laughs> that they have is love. It's like this is one of those things we're like talking through, and it's evolving. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, that's my opinion of it. If you want, go ahead and answer the question. Let us know. Keep it real. What have you learned about love? It's kind of deep. And that's another thing, like everybody would have a different response. Everybody's had a different and experience. And that's okay too. That's okay and that's how we learn. And, and we, yeah. we learn from each other's stories and experience. It's like we get to actually look at something differently because if you allow it. there's like love like the way I love you and there's love like the way you love family and there's oh, yeah. love like there, there is different. friends and there's, it's and you'll different. be like, I love you man and you oh, mean that. <laughs> yes, it's different. Yeah, but there's still it's a it's the type of connection and that and that's what you refer to as love, right? Agreed. Yeah. All right, guys, that was the third wow. final question. <laughs> like, look how we're ending off date night conversations episode eleven. Sorry, episode twelve. This is episode twelve. Yeah, this is episode twelve. Nice. Keep it going. Just keep going. Yes. Guys, we love the interaction. Please comment down below. Let us know your response to some of these questions. Keep the conversation going. Keep it real. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.